Hello guys, I'm Salam of the Bears and this is a tutorial about cooling. Your base is probably too warm and that's the reason why you are here. Let's fix it. We will start with a gas sensor. Place it somewhere. Then we need one logic reader. We will program the logic reader with a screwdriver. So input will be the gas sensor. The variable will be temperature. And now we can see the temperature in kelvins. We will need two memories. And we will rename them. One will be the memory minimum and the other one will be memory maximum. We will need two logic processors. One will be the compare unit and the other one will be select unit. Just like this. Let's program our memories. So let's say the memory minimum will be 303 kelvins which is around 30 degrees Celsius and memory max will be 308 which is around 35 degrees Celsius let's program our compare unit so the input number one will be our logic reader The function will be greater, the input number 2 will be our select unit. Let's program our select unit. The input here will be our compare unit. Input 1 will be the memory max and input number 2 will be our memory min. So we can see what is happening right now. The logic reader says 309 kelvins which is greater then the logic select, which is our memory max, and that's 308 kelvins. We will need one more logic circuit, and it will be logic writer or batch writer. If you will use logic writer, you can drive only one wall cooler. If you will use batch writer, then you can drive a lot of wall coolers. We will use batch writer. Batch writer can drive even one wall cooler. We will install our wall coolers. Just like this. Let's program our batch writer with a screwdriver. The input will be the logic compare, 
the output will be wall cooler and the variable will be arm. If we did it right, when I will turn on this batch rider, the wall coolers should start spinning. So it works. I am outside the base and the pipes with radiators look like this. Of course you don't need so much radiators but this is just an example. We can take a look what is inside these pipes. So the temperature in the pipes is 24.7 degrees Celsius, which is much less than the temperature in our base. Let's simulate the cooling of the room or base. The temperature shows 26 to 30 degrees, but it is the temperature around me, it's not the temperature around the sensor. So we will see something very interesting. And now the wall coolers are offline because the temperature around the gas sensor is changed. The wall coolers will run again when the temperature will hit 308 Kelvin, which is around 35 degrees of Celsius. Let's improve our cooling system a little bit. We will remove the memories. Now we will put one memory back. And we will set it to 273.2 Which is almost 0 Celsius we will install one dial and one math unit. And we will set this dial to 35 or more if you want. Just like that. We will set our math unit right now. So it will do some easy calculation. We will use this memory as input one. And input number two will be our dial. The function will be add. Let's try it. So it works. We will add one more math unit and one more dial. We will set this dial to 10. 
We will rename our math units and our dials. Map unit number two programming as the input one we will use math unit number one and the input number two is our dial number two Let's change our dial 2 to number 5. It works. We will install two small LED displays. You won't need consoles for it. One here and one here. Now we will use one more math unit and two logic writer. Just like this. We will program our math tree and it will be del one plus L2. So del number one is ten, del number two is five, so the result should be fifteen. And we want to display our dials values. So this logic writer will display dial number one. So input will be dial number one. The output will be LED one. and the variable will be setting. Now we can see 10. And this logic writer will display math 3. So the input will be math 3. output will be LED2 and the variable will be settings. Let's program our select unit. This input will be still logic compare the input number 1 will be math 2, which is the higher number, and the input number 2 will be math 1, which is the lower number. Let's change our desired temperature in this room. As we can see, the temperature is now 30.6 Celsius, so it is in the range between 32 and 37. Let's change it.
it is still in the range, so let's change it again. The temperature is not in the range, so the wall coolers will cool down this room. We built something like this together because you don't want to play with the memory all the time like minimum and maximum temperature you will have just two dials if you will decide to change the temperature anytime you can do it without playing with memories or uninstalling the composite walls or whatever because if this system is covered with composite walls it looks just great and I will do it in a second this is it guys it's finished it's nice and the most important thing is it works